Hello out there. It's Rhonda here and I'm so glad you are joining me today. If you are watching me live, if you're watching the replay, I obviously am going to take just a minute to chat with all of you as we get started to allow people to join. If you are watching the replay, you are welcome to like fast forward through a few minutes of this, maybe, maybe even five before everyone joins on. So when you are here, definitely let me know, jump on, let me know that you're here so I can see, oh goodness, it's my beautiful friend Jennifer, thank you, you're the first one name that I saw, of course, that does not surprise me. So all of course, and Michelle is next. Uh, I have missed all of you. So I will give a little bit of an update as to where I'm at, what I'm doing, and most importantly, what we have coming up. So I have missed you. Um, I've been doing videos for maybe eight years, and um, I still do a lot of videos. I do a lot of training videos for demonstrators and for my team, and um, but I also do videos for my personal business too. And so uh, I love to do them every week. I love to do them maybe even a couple times a week. The last year has been a little crazy. Uh, crazy in a good way, not in a bad way, just definitely challenging to say the least. And um, we moved, uh, we have, personally we moved and then, um, but we still have our old house. So it's more like we just moved, gained another, we gained an apartment. Um, and then I have moved my studio twice in the last uh, two and a half months. So with that being said, everything is just in a disarray. So it's really difficult to try to uh, be very organized and scheduled with videos. And then on top of that, it's just summer in general. So thank you for all of you who watch my videos and who are here. Um, I am really excited to tell you that um, I am settled. I feel the most settled I have been in probably a year. And that is such a good, peaceful feeling. I kept telling you guys all, hang tight, like I, I'm not going anywhere, I just need a little bit of time um, to get settled. And so I am really excited about our future. This week we'll be doing videos every day. Every day I'll be coming to you at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, and we will be doing uh, one project every day. There might be some little extras in there. But this is my, we have a new catalog starting, um, and the catalog is going to be starting in uh, a week. I believe you can start ordering on September 4th. Maybe it's the 3rd. Maybe one of my amigos will correct me if it's the 3rd or the 4th. I think it's the 4th. Hi, Nancy. It's so good to see you instead of in person. And Nancy Jones is who works for me in my studio every Wednesday and Friday. Um, so, I'm really excited about what we have coming up. Um, I hired a full-time social media uh, project planner manager, and he is going to crack the whip. <laughs> We've been working so close together, and I'm really excited about our future. You're going to be seeing an incredible amount of videos from me, and content, and help, and support, and emails, and um, I'm really really grateful to be having uh, my son Ryan working by my side every day. So uh, we are going to jump in. Today's video is our kicking off. So on Saturday we posted a survey because I am so in love with a new mini catalog. There's so much. The fourth. Thank you. Uh oh. Jan said the third, but Jan, there's three people who say the fourth, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust them. And one of them is Michelle, who is Hawkeye's She's my, she's my proofreader. Um, so anyway, we are going to be kicking off the new mini catalog. I wanna help you all week long to see different products in action so that when the catalog goes live on the 4th, you will have your wish list ready to go. Um, and of course, uh, I believe in classes and, and shipping you things and sending you presents. And, and so this week, um, you have from today, until September 4th at midnight to place an online order in my online store and you will get all five projects cut and prepped for you, shipped to you, um, for you to be able to put together. Um, I had a really hard time picking what to show. 
So I asked for your help. I have a couple things that I know I want to show you, um, but I had some others that I just didn't know. So our top winners were, Ryan ran the numbers, uh, our top winner was Reindeer Fun, which I'll be showing you tomorrow. The other one was the Autumn Expressions, which we are going to be using today. And the third one was uh, the Home One. Home something. It's the new Home Punch. And I'll be showing that with you, with you on Friday. So I'll be showing you the top three, plus a couple other ones that um, I'll be using the, the Snowy Wonder, which was one of them as well. And then the Regal Flora, which I didn't even put on the survey because I knew I was going to use that one. I've already have my projects designed for it. So um, I know I always, Michelle's like, I'm always asking you to pick a favorite. I know I do that because I really love to know what your guys' favorites are. So today we are going to be using um, this pack of paper. It's called Splendid Autumn. And there's a couple reasons why I chose this, this paper. Um, and then the Autumn Expressions stamp set, and we will be using a couple pieces of the, of the dies too. So on yesterday, I announced my fall retreat. So excited, I'm gonna be doing a, a live portion in my studio in Langsburg. I limit it to only 18 people, um, but we will be doing a one whole day, one day retreat. Um, and if you can't come live, then you can order the retreat in a box. Um, I prepare um, usually between 120 and 144 retreats because I had to start so far in advance. Um, they almost always sell out, um, and so you can grab them while you can. I'm announcing it way earlier than I normally do. Usually I wouldn't even announce it until the middle of September, end of September, because we hold a retreat in October. But the product that I'm picking is going to be very popular and I'm afraid it's going to go unorderable or it'll sell out. So this is one of the papers, there's other paper that we'll have, but this is one of the papers that I'm including in my retreat and I've already uh, designed the projects and I've already, um, and we're featuring the Autumn Expressions bundle. There's not a lot of Autumn stuff in the mini catalog and last year, when there was beautiful paper, it sell like that. And so I wanna be ready so that on September 4th, I will be able to, um, I'll be able to order right away. So I had to collect all the money in advance too. So, um, so I am going to, that's why I announced it early. I wanna be prepared and ready to place the orders for these supplies right away so that I make sure that my customers get all of them um, in their retreat. And I already have most, a lot of it designed, so I don't want to have to redesign. So anyway, that, um, I announced that yesterday. You have to be on my email list to be able um, to see and to register. If you're not on my email list and you would like to have information about our retreats in the box, um, we it's our live retreat, or to attend my live retreat, we still have spaces open, then um, let me know and we will give you the link for our email list. All right, you guys ready to jump in? Thanks for hanging with me while I just chat with you for a minute. Um, so we are using the Autumn Expressions uh, stamp set and paper because I really want to be able to showcase you one of the reasons why I absolutely have fallen in love with it. So let's go ahead and switch down to my hands. Thank you guys for joining. So this week I am going to show you, I want to, I think it needs to go this direction, right? There we go. So this week, we're gonna show you a project a day, um, plus maybe some extra ones too. Um, and, but every day, so there'll be five projects over five days. Fridays will be a pre-recorded one. It'll be our my, my five minute Friday, like I, normally, like I um, want to start doing on Fridays for you again. Um, but today we're gonna to be using the Autumn Expressions um, and we're going to be featuring the Autumn Splendid Splendid Autumn Paper. The reason why I picked this paper is because I know that it's going to be so extremely popular. Um, so the one side is, is gorgeous detail that you can do on your card very easily. And the back side will be a coordinating paper that you can use to accent it, which I love that one. one uh, this is my favorite piece. Look at that one. Oh, I love the sunflowers. And again, the back side is a great accent piece. 
So these are just, um, you get 12 different patterns. So beautiful. I know it's August, but guys, I, we're gonna have to work ahead. Like, you wanna get your fall stuff now so you can be working with it and creating with it so that you are all set to mail out all of your projects. Um, in the Retreat in a Box, we're not just gonna make cards. We're gonna make quite a few fun folds, and then we're gonna make a gratitude journal, one for you to use and one for you to give as a gift. So we got some fun projects lined up in the Retreat, too. But, so I just wanted to show you all of the different patterns. Okay, so let's jump in and get started. Um, and the, for this project, it actually takes a full sheet of cardstock. So you're gonna wanna have a full sheet. Um, you're gonna start off with cutting your cardstock to four and a quarter by 11. Now, one other thing I wanna tell you that we're gonna start doing, not for every project, but for sure this week, is every week or every card that I'm making this week is going to have what I call a recipe card. So there is going to be a recipe that, um, let me see if this makes any difference. I don't think it will. No, it's not gonna make a difference. Oops, sorry. All right, so there's going to be a recipe that will give you the products that I used and the measurements. Um, and I will be emailing it out to my email list every day. So you'll be able to have the measurements for this, but again, you have to be on my email list for me to email it. I gotta have a place to house it. So um, you can write down the measurements right now, and obviously they will all be on Creative Corner um, as well. So you're gonna go ahead and do four and a quarter by 11. Then you need another piece that is three and a half by seven. I love it when, again, it's all, you're gonna be doing this all out of one sheet of cardstock. And this is basic beige, which is our, one of our newest colors. Um, and lastly, you have this little scrap left over. You're gonna use that for your die cutting. So if you could do some die cuts, you can do it out of this piece too. Uh, all right, so let's, oh, you're gonna need your score marks. Um, you're gonna score this in two different places. You're gonna score this, this one here, you're gonna score at two, and then seven and a half. Come on up there, arm. This is what I love about our trimmer, is it has a little arm. Okay, hey, those of you who are watching, I would love your feedback, okay? So, my friend, Deb Smeek, she works, with me about one day a week she'll come in um, and we were both working uh, the other day and I put my trimmer with the down here so this is the bottom of my trimmer this, this is what faces me with the ruler up here and she was like Rhonda you use it upside down I said what she does it with the ruler right side up which is so like this just feels so awkward I guess I could do that um, which way do you, but then I feel like this would move. Oh goodness, see? What, what, what is your guys' right way, wrong way? Do you put the ruler at the bottom? Like I put my ruler down here um, on the trimmer or do you put it up at the top? I'm curious what your guys' answers are. I am gonna go back. Oh, so that's that piece. And then this little piece, you're going to score it. I have the, the mirror on the measure. You're going to score it at two and six and a half. So you're gonna score it at two and six and a half. All right. So those are the two pieces that you need and they are scored. All right. Oh, at the top, right side up. See, Jennifer, that's not an answer. The right side up to me is that's the right way. Um, okay, at the top, we use it right side up. She's using upside down. Okay, Betty, you agree with me, but most of you are saying ruler at the top. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer says I have it upside down. Again, Janine is like ruler at the top, closest to my eyes. Exactly. When the numbers are up here, I can't even read them. Uh, but I can definitely tell the majority is that um, the ruler's at the top. But there are a few of us, all right, my posse, 
we're down here at the bottom. That is so funny. Cause like that's how my husband and I are. We're both correct. Like it both works, but there's a right way and a wrong way. So what she did explain to me was that the Stampin' Up! logo should be facing you and she's right. But then I don't, I don't like the numbers up there. I like the numbers down here. Anyway, okay. So that was just a little extra thing here that I wasn't even planning on talking to you about. So just go ahead and go along those score marks there. And then you have score marks here. So today I'm showing you a really uh, simple, fun fold that's very useful, right? Um, also, for the designer series paper, I chose this pattern. I love this kind of like a paler Cajun craze. Uh, and you're going to cut this into two pieces. Um, this one I want more of the scene at the bottom. So this piece here is going to be cut to three. I already cut it at four. Um, and you're going to cut it at three and a quarter. So three and a quarter by four is that piece of it. And then we are going to do it one and three quarters. So just keep going. And the next one is one and three quarters. So I'm going to use this Cajun craze, kind of the back of it there. So those are my two pieces. That's what I love about it. The front and the back automatically go good together. <laughs> Sarah's going to uh, try my way. You can try my way, but what's really funny is like um, I tried to use it Deb's way, and I was like, oh my goodness, I could not use it. And then she, I, she tried to use it my way, and. We were all, so I think it's kind of what you get, it's kind of what you get used to. All right, so we're gonna glue these down to these panels. If I cut them correctly, they should fit perfectly. I am using basic beige. It's just, man, it is like one of the best things Stampin' Up! ever came out with. Um, I'm so grateful for it. It's just a really soft, nice card base. So here's the bottom and there's the top. You can see how pretty that those accent each other. Um, what you want to do next is I I did a, a lot of this ahead of time. Um, I ran through one of my new favorite products and I'll be using this all week long just to kind of, again, let you know why I love it so much, is the new Christmas labels. It's actually a bundle and the bundle, let me show you the bundle. I'm not using the words today. I'll probably use the words some other time this week, but um, it comes with all these words. I love the warm and cozy. This one, sweet as uh, sugar plum candy. Uh, it's a hot cocoa day, so it's really all these fun saying, all these fun, fun, fun sayings. Um, but I really love the labels. The labels are really there's four of them, so I love that. Not too many ideas, and they're nice. Nice big bold ones. So I ran through this one and I already popped out the little things just to make it today go a little bit faster. And I did it also in basic beige. That's where you can use that scrap piece left over to run that through if you want to. Um, the words we're gonna use for this, let's see. Um, let's take a scrap piece of paper, scrap piece of white. And this is always a scrap, a scrap piece. Oops, I don't need that anymore. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, we're going to use the, the change is beautiful. You know what? This speaks so loudly to me right now. Change is beautiful. Sometimes we definitely don't, it, change can sometimes be overwhelming. It doesn't feel so beautiful. Uh, but change can be beautiful. I know that all the changes that we go into lead you to where you are today. So I'm going to stamp the change can be beautiful and it's upside down okay this is why I love this set I absolutely love the font like this fonts are so beautiful this one just says grateful for you so you'll use that one a lot um, the change can be beautiful and have a perfectly lovely day and then obviously just some really other nice uh, other words I'll show you those here in a second um, but absolutely, that is one of my um, favorite parts about this is the font. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm sure a lot of you know it, but some of you don't. So I just really want those words. I don't want all the white behind it because I don't want to cover up everything. Like, I don't, I want, I don't want to cover up the beauty of the rest of this card. So I want just 
the words. So some of you who are super talented will just come and whoop, 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 whoop and cut that out. Okay, I can't. It's like a kindergartner is doing it. So a little trick is just to take a pencil and I just kind of outline the image. So I have, I need a line to cut. And just a general, you don't even have to be perfect. Just a general line. I am not a fussy cutter, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make the card look the way you want it to look. So I will just go around here and kind of outline where I want my cut to go. The minute I try to freehand this, it does not look right. So I'll just go all the way around here like that. Can you see how I did that? So I just outlined it and I use a pencil so that I can erase it. I'm like, no, I'm gonna fussy cut. So, um, yeah, Jennifer said Ange McKay is a wonderful fussy cutter. She is. Ange and I partner on a lot of projects together. So I don't fussy cut because she does. She does enough fussy cutting for both of us. So then you're just gonna go and now I can go around with my pencil marks and follow that. It is just a lot easier. The little trick that um, Ange tells me is you don't move your scissors, you move the paper. I know there are team fussy cut who actually finds this peaceful. I find this like nails on a chalkboard. I'm squeezing the scissors so tight that it actually hurts my knuckles. Like legit, my knuckles are sore. Um, because I, I do not enjoy this. It is like, again, like uh, not my favorite thing to do. Anyway, I'm not gonna make you watch me do that because look, I did it already. And see how perfect that is? I did that and I'm not a fussy cutter. So that is um, my little awesome, yes. <laughs> that I did, I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself on that one. So then just take a couple dimensionals and I'm is not gonna make you guys sit there and watch me cut that whole thing out because it does take me a little bit longer. And again, my knuckles, look, there's actually like an indent on there because I squeeze the scissors so hard. I think without even trying, I do, I don't even mean to. So then I'm gonna put that right here on the middle of that label. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Um, and yeah, Bobby could have done it a little bit straighter. Okay, so let's assemble our actual, like the card itself. I got a little ahead of myself there. I just, lo I just love that. Um, you're gonna need a little bit of green glue, which look, I'm just surprising you guys all over the place today. And you wanna glue down um, the, this, this is the bottom. So that's the, the bottom. And I did this first just so I can hold it for a second. And you just wanna hold that. So it's just a little bit of green glue, not a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Gayla. It's funny, I've been doing this for so long, but things like fussy cutting, I do need encouragement on because I don't normally do very well in fussy cutting. All right, so just kind of hold that. Hopefully you don't get glue all over the place. Um, and now, now this piece, you are going to that little tab right here, that little half inch tab. So if you can tell, I folded that back and then this it folds up. Listen, I need to change my cutting blade. Can you see that? Just out of nowhere. It's like all of a sudden it, it needs a new blade. It was fine, I swear, yesterday. This is funny how, and I've had it for probably two years. So you just put glue on that. Now obviously my favorite adhesive is definitely um, Seal Plus. So I'm just gonna kind of lay this. Can you, can you see that? And then um, you could do it two ways. You could just, we could do it this way too. Just right along the score and right, and so it's centered, you're going to put that down there. So it looks like this. So it's a, you, you line it up on the top flap and the bottom of that, see, do you know, see that mess? That's the glue, the green, green glue. I don't know why it gets all over the place for me. All right, this bottom piece, you're going to take a circle punch. I'm taking a one and three quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to um, notch it. You just wanna do a little notch. Try to get that centered too. There. So that's at that, the two inch flap that's down there. At the top of this, I, uh, there's a piece of white that is three 
by three and a quarter, so it should perfectly there. Go back to my Cajun craze, and then I'm taking the stamp set. Have a perfectly lovely day. Love that saying. And that's going to go up here at the top. Okay, so that goes right there. Okay, I'm going to work on the fact that these lines are bugging me. We're going to. I'm sitting in front of a window, which gives me great lighting, but then it does not always. It's not supposed to do that all the time. So we'll, we'll work on that. Okay, have a perfectly lovely day. And that's going to go right here. All right, now, so how, why this is a really fun fold. This is actually a gift card holder. Um, <laughs> Jennifer, is there a stamp pad open? Yes, all right. You're right. You just love me enough because you know my finger is going to go all over that. You betcha. I'm actually going to clean that stamp off because I want to use it again. Um, we'll just clean that a little bit. So, all right. Perfect. Okay. I, I did have, I was, I was hiding it from you. Okay. So, yes, this is our little stamp cleaner. It's supposed to be, I just, just rinsed this and washed it. But look, it's, that's a sign of, an awesome crafter. All right, so this actually, once your glue is dry there on the side, which it should be, you can kind of just fold that up and then tuck that right inside here. That's why you have to use the green glue is because you want a very thin layer. You can, the other glues are a little bit too wide almost. So when it, you fold this card, when you open it, isn't that so cool? I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. Um, this was just, I had a card given to me like this from my friend Lisa Bauer. And so uh, Lisa's super, super talented. And I'm like, sweet, I love that card. I cannot wait to copy it. So then you can tuck in here a gift card. You can tuck in there money. You can tuck a picture. You can, I mean, this is to me, um, for somebody who might be going through some change, you know, okay, well, we gotta finish decorating it. Going through some change, letting them know to have a lovely day, then maybe giving them like a coffee gift card or a manicure or just a little bit of love in there. So, all right, next we're just gonna take and put glue on the top of this and that gets, uh, oh shoot, that ended up being the bottom. Um, this is where you need to have um, my adhesive remover, which I do have somewhere, but if I can Catch it soon enough, sometimes you can just roll that baby off. You can't do that with green glue, but with Seal Plus, it actually will kind of roll. It also, you can do that with mini glue dot. See, look at that. That's just how you fix your screw ups. All right, there, that's the top, and that's gonna go here. And last but not least, we're just gonna decorate this with some of the pieces from the dies. I actually don't have the die set with me. I left it in Langsburg, but I, I ran through the pieces that I needed to begin with. So the die set has this really awesome frame. Um, and then also it has these different leaves. So I'm gonna, another new product that we just came out with is called Woven Golden Leaves. It's kind of hard to describe them, so hopefully you can see them. But they're very wiry and meshy and they're very, they're golden, see if you can see them. Even against my skin, it's not easy to see very well. Let's see, there you see a little bit better. Um, but I love that the, they're actually quite wiry. So you can also, you can crinkle them up to kind of give them a little bit of a crinkled look, which I like. Um, and then we're just gonna take some mini glue dots and layer all these leaves up. So these are the leaves that come in the set of dies. And I'm going to put them on top of this golden woven leaves. Okay. Just like that. And then I will put one more mini glue dot. And then that will get tucked right here behind. See, isn't that beautiful? Ah, but just that little pop of gold right there. That's so cool too. Can you see that little pop? There's that little pop of gold. You probably can't, you'll see it when I take a picture of it. 
Last but not least, and so that's another new, that's a new, these are all new embellishments, woven golden leaves. And then um, the next I'm gonna be using is natural toned linen thread. Oh, you guys know I love my linen thread, right? Love my linen thread. And so this one is linen thread. It's just the same texture as linen thread, which ties so nice, but in the colors of Cajun Craze, Night of Navy, and Garden Green. So great actually for Christmas, winter, and fall. So I just took a nice little long piece of that and I'm gonna tie a, a bow, a little double bow here. All right, I would love to make this card in every single one of those patterns. I mean, I chose, obviously I chose this pattern with a Cajun craze on it, but can you imagine this, this with the daisies? Can you imagine it with just those beautiful fall trees? So you can tell why, like I know this is gonna sell out quickly. Um, I just have that gut feeling. Our, our autumn paper last year sold out, so people might be avoiding it because they're scared of it, but I wanted to use it. So instead, I'm just um, announcing things just a little bit earlier so I'm able to order it and have it for everyone. Okay, so there we go. Change can be beautiful. And last but not least, I got some dots. These are our Regal foiled dots. And they obviously go with the Regal, the new Regal Flora, but they also go with like fall. And um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle on a few of those. You could, so voila, there's our finished card. And watch, open it up. And you got a perfect gift card holder to brighten someone's day. And of course, last but not least, we have to take our um, envelope. This one, I'm just gonna take a stamp out of here. I'm just gonna take this little fall leaf and just stamp a few of these. I always wanna make sure that my envelopes match and coordinate with, there you go. We'll just do a couple of those. And then when I get it in the mail, it will match their card. There you go. So there's that one. Let me show you the ones that inspired me. Um, this was the one that Lisa Bauer inspired me with. Uh, hers is using, again, another one of the patterns and the same that is that, that pattern there. Um, and then, let me see, good one. She used a different set of dies. These are the greetings of the season dies that are all like tags. Um, let's see here. And then, but hers also opened up. Have a perfectly lovely day. That's hers. Um, I, again, I told you, like, I love this so much. I wanted to make one out of all of the, all of them. So I made this one. And this was the, the Grateful For You. And it's the, a really beautiful cherry cobbler, very cherry cobbler look. I use the same leaves. It's the exact same card, just, just a different, different ones. Obviously, you know, I'm going to ask you. Like, this one is very deep and rich. And the yep opens up just like that. Deep and rich. And then here is a version I just did that to me. It was a little bit lighter, a little bit more um, because of the beige. The beige really makes it. So there you go. Those are your, your card for today. I did, I, if you have an extra minute, um, yes, you have to decorate the envelopes. I always say no naked envelopes. So do you have a favorite? Do you like the, the lighter one? The darker one is definitely very beautiful too. Same exact supplies. A little bit more of a richer tone than this one is more of our like lighter fall tones too um, but this paper one of my favorite parts about this paper is that sometimes like that card today probably took maybe it'll take you 10 15 minutes to make it um, but sometimes you don't even have 10 or 15 minutes like sometimes you are in a hurry so that's what I love about this paper so it is so beautiful. You can just take, I'm, and these are not included in the free. I just wanna show you again the versatility of this paper. And one of the re reasons why I love it so much is that you can just pick a color that matches. So I chose the Moody Moth. And then I'm cutting this to four by five and a quarter. Grab my paper trimmer really quick. 
Oh, I did also want to, for those of you who are writing down, like the Autumn Expressions Bundle is right there. So you know what item code to, to do when you want to order it. So I'm cutting this down by five and a quarter. So it just gives you this perfect little strip left over and then obviously you have this front right here, right? this beautiful scenery. This one, the sky is so, so pretty, um, which also to me makes it so you could stamp on it. So I'm taking that perfectly lovely day and I'm gonna uh, that stamp and then we're going to use Blackberry Bliss. That to me, the trees are so, so, Blackberry Bliss-ish, right? I'm just gonna stamp that up here. You can stamp right on the paper. I don't know if you can tell how beautiful that is. It's so pretty with that in the background. Um, the paper, just so you know, let me give you that real quick. Um, here we go. There's a Splendid Autumn paper. There's an item code for that too. So all you gotta do then, once you cut it, do your stamping, and there is some pressure to make sure you stamp it right. If you mess it up, it's okay. Then you do stamp on a label, cut it out, and put it down. But that one, I got pretty lucky. We'll take a piece here for the inside. This is five and a quarter by four. Put that right on the inside. Take the paper that you cut off and put that down there just as a little decoration. You obviously, which I would love to do that, let's add just a little bit of, I'm going to pull this up. Sometimes when these cards are super, super simple on the outside, which it doesn't look simple, like we know that it's simple, but it doesn't look simple to whoever you're sending it to. So it looks like it's complicated. Let me clean that off real quick. My friends will know I'll make a mess. So I'm just gonna take some of this here and just then I'll glue this down. So it's really super to like that. And that's the same paper I just cut off. There's a little stamp on here that says Dear Friend. I'm gonna take that one. All right, dear friend. Okay, so the inside is decorated pretty cute. Again, super simple. And then on the outside, I'm gonna take our, these are, this is still available. It's the in color, uh, like twine. So I'm just gonna take some of that Moody Mauve and pull off some of that. Now this to me is a little thick. Does it, do, do, do any of you guys have this? Um, it's just a little, it's a little, it kind of creates a little bit of a bigger knot. Um, it's 90 degrees in Illinois. It's actually 90 degrees. It's our high today is 89. Um, but I'm inside with the air conditioning, so I actually have a long sleeve shirt on. So to me, this is this. If you got this twine, I love this twine. I probably I don't know. I've gone through probably 10 packs of it. But it's a little thick. So what I like to do is I just kind of take it and twist it kind of the, the opposite way of what it is, and then you can um, loosen it up. And then I like to just pull out just one of the twines. Just take, get rid of one of them. It's just a little too thick. Now, and you could either just use this or you can use this that has, can you see what I just did? Now I really made it go a lot further. This one is very soft. So let's do, I actually like this one. This one to me is a soft card. This just one thread is all I picked out of there. And it, it's beautiful. It even has like a little like of a, a wave to it. All right, so those of you who are just joining, um, this is my uh, launch week. So every week I'll be going live at two o'clock Eastern. Every day I'll be making at least one project. Um, and then I might make, make extra just uh, to show you the versatility of the product. I wanna give you the most reasons why you'll want this stuff. 
Um, so you don't just come up with one reason why, we got lots of reasons why. So I may show you some extra and I may not, depends if I have time to create it. Um, but then every day there'll be one project that I will uh, be preparing and cutting for those. Um, if you do spend over $50 in my online store from today all the way through September 4th, then you will get all five projects will be shipped to you. Um, and if your order is over $50, you're going to get a new set of the gems. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and, and actually I don't, I was going to use those. I'm going to use those on my next card. I'm going to use these that we already used because they have a pink in there, which I think will go really pretty. And they have like a blackberry bliss or a cherry cobbler. There you go. These are the ones I used on the last card. See, just super, super simple, but beautiful. I would, that is just the beauty of this paper. Like, so simple. Again, half a sheet of basic beige. A basic beige is definitely like one of those staples I picked. I wanted to, basically, I wanted to use all of the patterns when I was playing with it. Um, cut off, this one I'm gonna cut off the bottom. You're gonna cut it down to five and a quarter. You can even do it another layer if you wanted to, but let's say you're doing cards for a card ministry or you're doing card, you, know, you wanna, like this allows you to be able to make a lot of them very, very quickly. So this one, I wanted more of the sky up there, so I cut off the bottom. Um, I have another piece of white that will go on the inside. Again, I, I said kind of, you can decorate the inside, it's kind of fun. Like that. Mmm, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to do this side. Go. This one's a little bit, just like that. Kind of carries the outside through to the inside. Um, I ran through a little label, and I ran through two of them so that in case I screwed up, I will have a second chance um, to put that dear friend on because I'm afraid that I'm going to not get it right, but I'm gonna try. So I get, I have two tries. By the way, I do that a lot when I run um, any, any kind of labels. I'll run it through twice, so I get I get different chances. All right, make me mark the craft now. Good, I know you're in bed. Um, did I put my cutter on the ink pad? I don't know, I might have. You never know. I don't think I did. I put my cutter down below. I have a little shelf down here. Michelle called me a card making machine. I am. I was only going to show you one, but then like I, I just really just wanted to play with more of the patterns. So I'm going to stamp that dear friend. This, pretty, I'm going to try again. I mean, it's good. I can use that one, but I could maybe get better. Let's see. This is from the country side corners. It's, this die is in there. So look, I, I think this one, my second one was probably better. So I'm gonna take the dear friend. Ooh, let's take our dimensionals, but take the, I love using the side of the dimensionals. So that little skinny side right there, and then pull that off and it should be just perfect. And then I have the words, what does these words say? You got this, dear friend. You have a friend that maybe that just had major back surgery last week or had back surgery and is laying in bed and bored. This is what I like to tell her. You've got this, dear friend. If you have friends that, you know, they have got bad news. Um, oh, yeah, which I bought a different stamp pad. I got early espresso. So I'm going to stamp, you've got this, and I'm going to turn it over here so I can see what I'm doing. And then it'll be dear friend. Are you over there? Let's. I think the wild wheat is going to go pretty with this one. So let's pull off the wild wheat. Again, you could. I know I'm a card making machine with these, but you can too. This is why I'm telling you these for. So yes, this paper can make like we. It made gorgeous, beautiful cards that are a little bit more complicated. 
But then when you're in a hurry, you can bust out a bunch of these. Like you could make probably, I don't know, 48 cards in probably an hour or so, maybe two hours. So you can really mass produce these cards that are just gorgeous. Again, I'm gonna, I don't want it to be quite so thick. I just kind of twist backwards on itself and then pull out the thread. Find one thread and then pull it out. All right, I'm almost done. I'm gonna bring you up here for a second. And don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will be doing five days of videos this week, but every week we'll be coming with more and more videos. Uh, lastly, one thing I'm doing also this week with this, as uh, we're launching the new mini catalog, is every one of the cards that I'm gonna be making will have a recipe card. It'll give you the measurements, it'll give you all the item codes and things, but how you get that is you have to be on my email list. It's the only way I have to send it to you. So if you're not on my email list already, and if you're saying, I don't know, you would be getting emails from me, you would know. I send out, well, I'll be sending out you know, a couple this week with, a, with the recaps of all of the recipe card to everybody. Um, but that's also how you find out about all of the events that I do is through my email list. All right, now the, I'm gonna use these dots. We have some beautiful fall dots. These are called faux glass dots. And these are like, the coloring on these are so perfect to go with all of this. I think I wanna use like every single color. We're gonna use five of them on this one. I always was told you work in numbers of odd numbers. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on a couple of the other ones too. All right. And there you go, voila, you've got this. Um, sorry, I wasn't checking to see if I was in the thing. All right, and then when you open, this is just some extra ones that I wanted to share with you, just showing you how simple and how easy it is to make quick and easy cards that are gorgeous. Um, let me bring you back up here really quick. Thanks again for joining me today. This is day one. It will be five days. Um, Friday will be a recording. It's gonna be five minute Friday. So I know these are a little bit longer, but it is a chance for me to get to spend some time with you and to talk to you. Uh, so this is day one. Um, this is the card that you will be making. Um, it's this really fun fold. So Starting today through September 4th, if you place in the online order with me in my online store, it has to be at least $40, and I'll send you the card pack. It's gonna be all five projects that I'm making this week. Um, if your order goes over $50, I will be putting in there a new set of the gems as well. Um, but all the card stock will be cut for you, the paper will be cut. Just a warning, if you, when this card, you'll have different patterns, but they will all be beautiful. Every pattern is gonna be beautiful. So I am hoping this week to help you to fall in love with the mini catalog like we have. I feel like you have to play with things and to give you ideas to really help you to see it all in action. And we've got a pretty incredible catalog to share with you with lots of fun products. So thanks for joining me today. Again, if you uh, share this video, that's huge. I love it when you share it. Number one, it makes it easier for you to find later. But two, it also just will help you to inspire others with their creativity using the products that they maybe already have. Because um, we do have a lot of beautiful papers that are just like this. Um, or what they might want to use with things that they're purchasing down the road. Um, and obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, definitely subscribe to this channel so that you can make sure that you see um, all the videos we do this week. There's going to be five of them. All right, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. See you tomorrow.